I've actually not played this before, this is my first night in the fight. Obviously, it has Pirates, um, what's it called? Um, oh, what's it fucking called? What was that Xbox? It's exactly like it. Oh, it's a tornado. Oh, it's a tornado. It's a whamming big tornado. Fuck it, that's an extra. Put this into the description down below if you want to see what, what this game is about. <laughs> that was so was so surreal. Famously called film little pieces of time, but he could be talking about photography as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in life? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear that was my old uh... right now. I teach, uh, no, I teach, I teach pieces. So, Victoria, why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? I'll give you like 10 minutes to read this. <coughs> or a couple of minutes. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style. Oh, my God, I was talking totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s on. Sorry, Max. No more selfies right now portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. 
And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Of course, Victoria has to... I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Even her school books are gift-wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. You have just by participating. By putting yourself out there in the world. Now, no matter who wins. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this... purge. <laughs> Porn videos. Oh, man. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Kate, I, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answers. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. That just does not write at all. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing it's on us. this side. So she's like that side. It's another right on side. Right? Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. God, I'm such a photo nerd. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson. How's it be a photo nerd? Just do that. <laughs> Gives me hope. Just be a photo fucker. Fucking hell. This game is so fucking light. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell.
I could just about read that, but just uh, very slow. Let me see if I can run out the door again, like I did last time. See if I can run out the door. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You always Welcome to the real world. Cute? Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. Because that's what everybody can tell you. He plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. This game is so fucking weird. <laughs> Don't nod. Entertainment. That used to be me at school. I used to be a loner. I used to be literally like, I had no fucking friends. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. That's Dana talking to... I think his name is Jeff. Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I hate pulling jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Poor Daniel. He's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. Watching the world from the bright side. It looks like she's been gone for months. They should just call it a sugar machine. No, they should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. No one can tell where your heart is. Figures Juliet will be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. With shiny smiles and plastic. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kinda like that about him. <coughs> He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. I need to go splash some water on my face and freshen up first. Principal's office, no, where the fuck's the bathroom? Where the fuck's the bathroom? So fucking weird. Where's the freaking toilets? Science room. Okay, where the hell's my? That's what I don't want. Evan doesn't say much to me, but oh, his photos are very cool. Stella is always deep in her mouth. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. So true. Where's the toilets? I've got to be down here somewhere. I wish October would last forever. Bathroom! <laughs> I can't even put the fucking bathroom to this guy. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. Now, who would bother to write that crap? Rachel Austin is a bitch. Okay. Oh, 
I have Victoria Chase. I remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. At least I got out of science class for that quiz. <laughs> this poster must drive people to have sex. Toy, you can still love the man without sex. This is one of your side. The time is on your side, so come on. So it's common sense. Use it. Okay. I'm good to flow. Thanks. Tampons. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. <laughs> no. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? <sighs> Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. When a door closes, a window opens, or something like that. It's a butterfly. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. It's cool, Nate. Don't, don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo. Poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Dude! He just shot her ass down, dude! Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Like what? Dude. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now. Shit! Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer? I cannot believe this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Can I actually reverse time? Victoria, why are? I did it. Can you give me I an actually of a did it. Photographer who perfectly captured the human time machine. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. Victoria? Why Arvis? Because of her images. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. It's called a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. 
It's real. I can tell. Your generation. So I can go back in time. Selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? Can I save her? Has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here? Shit. Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. The process to give portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where this you'll be vetted so by the art world. Confusing. It's exposure and it can kickstart a It is so fucking confusing. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. <sighs> I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Oh, uh, why is this guy so fucking fucking stupid? I'm not avoiding, just biding time. Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Oh, uh, my eyes. Don't let me stop you. 20 past one. I see you, Max Caulfield. For fuck's sake! For top. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Yeah, I've got to despair. I've got to. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come don't on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. Wow, sir, it's happening again. People trying to control me. I need a hammer to break it open. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Miss 
lift your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, shit! No, 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 no! more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Max, oh. you're going to get hurt. Shit. No, 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 no! I can't do this, what am I gonna do? I just go all the way back around. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Jesus, dude, this guy is freaky. Shit, it goes. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm, I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be upfront with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class, Thomas Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family is home. Can you, can my dad be okay? You guys are retarded. Nice, please go ahead and kill me. This guy is very, uh... Yeah, I okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Just 
security guard. He is. I don't think he's Russian. That's not Russian. US. So as you know, it's just America. US. This. Yeah, that's where everyone needs to go. It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Sake. There's no other way into this building, is there? There is another way into this building. But I can't get the fuck in! The press could Oh, is it up the ladder? Yeah, it's up the ladder! It's up the fucking ladder. It's up the fucking ladder. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Where the fuck you crack the crew? How the fuck you crack the crew? Ah. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Where the fuck do I go then? I must have missed something. I should rewind. Jesus Christ takes a lot of energy out of me, fucking hell. Keep walking, hippie. with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. Okay, let's see if this works.
kidding? Look at this. Jill, Victoria, it's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. She looks like a pissed off wet cat, and she's still stylish. Keep walking, hippie. Hello, Ace. Hello. Listen, all right? Yeah. Keep walking, hippie. Okay, let's see if this works. This rain sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. I want to do something with that again. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Jill, Victoria, it's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. It's not good for hair, no. Nope. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. And no filter needed before I post yeah. this. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. No. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> It's really bloody 2 o'clock, babe. Get up. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever playing here. <clears throat> Juliet, extreme reporter. Pissed we took so long. <clears throat> we get it, she's missing. Somebody has gone crazy. Could be fun. Thanks for the warning. They live. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. But 
What's this poster really trying to tell me? Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Knocks his room so boring. Now that there are room in this game, it's rather Home weird. Sweet home, my favorite cocoon. I am. I look so pathetic. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Cartier Bresson, Boineau, Hamilton, the greatest. Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. <sighs> it feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. It's not exactly pretty and pink, but no shits are... Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? <laughs> Man Ray. I wonder if she's good at guitar. I wonder if she's good at guitar. Thunderbirds. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of the October Country. I should have every Brad Ray. Keep calm and carry on. That's what I should have on my floor. <laughs> One day I'll <laughs> organize my. That's what we all should have on our floors. Keep calm and carry on. get an actual HD. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. There's my poor laptop begging me to check in. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Which was Dana's room? You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. 
Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, Juliet Mason. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Watson, not fucking. Dane is still a cheerleader at heart. This girl must have been popular. She's everywhere. Note to Max. It pays to remember names. That is so sad. It's like unbelievable. At least that's an alarm from this century. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. As if. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Go, Miss Grant. Not sure if I will, though. I'm a loser. Oh, wow, there's a lot. This game is so complicated, like, it's like. Blackwell isn't oh, the Welcome to Black Hill. Bending. Room 217. No way in hell am I ever going in here. Note to Max. It pays to remember names. This girl must have been popular. She's everywhere. No need to go there now. I can't get to go to Bashford, bruh. Where am I meant to go? I'm back into my room, I guess. Guess I'll get back into my room. So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day mom. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Ha, <laughs> That's the only- That was a good hockey game, and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Trolls. This time so animated. It's unreal! Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. 
Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. Would Dana do that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Hmm. Huh. She saw the sex, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. Okay. Let's just go back again and forth and back. Forward and back and forward and back. Oh, yes, I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. She's cool. She's your She's friend. Your friend. Friends don't sex with their best friend's boyfriend. No, yes, probably that's true. not. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your character. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? Bah. According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Hmm. Huh. She saw the sex, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Her room. Fucking hell, this room's massive. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. That is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could Dior, Givenchy. Those boots are made for walking runways. Let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here. And this one there. Hmm, a pattern is emerging. <coughs> this action will have consequences. Jesus Christ. This is like school all over again. Oh yeah, she did this, she did that, she did Shit happens, you know. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear... Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Victoria's parents owned the chase space. Color me impressed. <laughs> this better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Oh shit. Get myself to big shit. Get myself into big some shit. Big some shit. Big some shit. Big some Juliet, shit. read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. 
still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zack has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. <laughs> Poor Juliet gets her rage on. I hope she doesn't kill Victoria. Zachary should worry too. As if I'd let that ego case jockstrap touch me. But I bet Victoria would be all over that action. Or has been. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. That does Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here for a day. Let's go back to my room. This game is so fucking confusing. It's like, what is going on here? Let's use I want to make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that <gasps> I would open it no matter how tempting. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think... I look... I Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Now yeah, we're fucking good. Yeah, it's so fucking complicated, it's like, what? I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. So fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. And yes, Max, so terribly wrong. This is both sad and pathetic. It would be a cool sticker without the words. Dana really does look stressed about all this. Fucking lot, here I come. Fucking lot, here I come. Parking lot. Jeez, I don't know where the fuck parking lot is. Fuck this shit. Damn, I better reward. I could almost feel sorry for him if he wasn't such a serious Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone.
Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Max seems like an only girl that's like. I should have stepped in between. Like, she's the only one that's fucking this all up at the moment. Max has got no friends, no fucking love life. That's it. She's alone now. Barely got any friends. Barely any friends. Squirrels. Man, I should have done something. That guy was an asshole. At least Rachel Amber has people who care about her. Max, get your ass over here. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Lloyd. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. Major bitch move. I don't want to talk about it. Jeez, you're a little miss sensitive today. I wouldn't push your luck, Warren. Not in the mood today. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. How so? Sensitive usually means won't be having sex with you. Oh God, you need a sensitive woman to kick your ass. <laughs> if I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal now. Answer me, bitch. What are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Coffee. I could call the police. Do it! The Prescotts own the pigs here. Get away from her, dude! Nobody tells me what to do. Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Leave in the bathroom. <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Jesus Christ! Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. 
This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? I have no idea. I know he's a press card. And an asshole. Your friend really stood up for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in Beth. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Only for Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you find a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Liz. that one in a while not everything changes except my camera has officially taken a shit my step douche has a boatload of tools maybe you can fix it in my place i need very specific tiny tools Bird alert my stepdad has a fully stocked garage and he actually is a tiny tool welcome home max Daib! Daryl! Hey, hey! Daryl, 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 Daryl! Daryl! It's two o'clock. You might want to get up. It's five past two and Jay Star has been wanting you on. Oh, oh, oh. Daib! Daib, hey! Daryl! 